Podcast Network, After Buzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries, and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! Get up, get up. Point. We warmed up our, our vocals beforehand. Yeah, we did. No, I hope you're not on point. <laughs> <laughs> no, never. Never. I like my feet too much to be okay. on point. <laughs> well, as you can see, we have some special guests in the studio tonight. Woo! Welcome, guys, <laughs> to this week's reclap of Dance Moms. <laughs> like clapping or snapping or slapping. Listen. Especially in the car when you're in the back seat. You know, when you're around me, there's all this happening, always. We're spinning our chairs, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're going to talk about the show, and then we're going to get to talking to everyone here, because obviously we have a lot of questions you for you. want to introduce them. everyone? Yes. OK, well, we all know this is Abby. <laughs> dance, dance teacher extraordinaire. Yes. Thank you. The and infamous then, dance teacher. Infamous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> and then we have Kalani, Nia, Kendall, Maddie, Mackenzie, and Hi. JoJo. Yeah. Everyone's here. And of course, the I'm gang's here too. all here. Me too. Woo! See, that's what it is. It's the gang's all here. That's what it yeah. is. The gang's all here. And <laughs> you guys know who I am. I Hashtag. am Tony Moore. And I'm Lexi Hamasfar. And we are so excited to be here tonight. So we glad are. you guys could join us. We have a lot to talk about. We do. Okay, so let's you get... make notes? Well, we have to remember stuff. can't so. just chat. Well, well, I mean, we can't. They remember how many steps every week. <laughs> well, I know, but listen, look, you guys lived it. Okay. We, ju we just watched it. True. Okay. You guys true. Will be, you guys that, will be fine. That's very true. You'll be no, fine. we yeah. might not be fine, because... You, you guys were there. There's a lot of shuffle ball change coming up. <laughs> <laughs> and we want to be accurate with the fans, so. Oh, yes, because yeah. when we're not oh, yeah. accurate, they, they let call us, us know. out. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, many a times. Thank you guys, though. I know. I wish we could put some of those fans in the editing bay. <sighs> See how much with they the like editors. it then. Yeah. No, so they could catch everything that the editors miss. Because there's a lot that the editors miss, especially the because parts. none of them ever dance. So when they edit the dance stuff together, the music gets just a hot mess. And they don't show the good moments. They don't? They no. don't. What would be a, an, like a good moment for you? When we're you having fun in fun. class. When you're having fun with us and giggling with us. That's I always wish, too, that they show like, the whole dances. Uh -huh. like, yeah. Yeah. Cut. Right. yeah. But I wish that they showed... The full dance on like just on the real show, on the real right? show yeah. yeah yeah i agree it's right. always it's i always like going on youtube after to see like the fans the who filmed it to uh -huh. see the whole that's performance that's like the best part of it yeah yeah, yeah it's fun I so agree. okay so as the at the competitions the mc is announcing absolutely no videotaping da, 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 and these, there's like 50 100 <laughs> kids with their phones all taping and they're just they're completely like, ignoring but the parent sitting with the child that came with them that drove the car uh-huh doesn't tell the kid put the phone away of the man not. said don't videotape well no in uh a couple of weeks ago there was a mom sitting behind you in an abilene dance company shirt video oh i saw that you remember yeah. that it was like a blue shirt and she was just like this week they like full blown have their iPads out behind oh, you yeah. guys. I think that's so weird when people have their iPads out because it's so yeah. big. <laughs> it's like, it's like, yeah. it's like, it's like the that's iPad has now replaced like the big video camera that right, we used to have. Has. And that was like, and as the season goes on, we see kids coming to the competition from other studios mm -hmm. doing our routines or using the same music or right. the same steps or you know groups of steps combos yeah. from routines that we did because they went they went to it they uh -huh. watched us and then they copied the number <laughs> that's a huge that's form us. of flattery though oh well is it 
I think it is. Isn't copying the well, copying is the, the what sweetest form of flattery. Yeah, but you know what? But to you me, can't copy that's, something that's that like you've bold. seen forever. Just sure. like work harder. Yeah, <laughs> I like, did it. I, we worked hard. That's like me steps. showing up to a dance competition <laughs> and doing Beyonce single ladies and pretending like I. But you would win. It. Duh. <laughs> we just made you do it. You guys did. You did guys, you guys saw see it? the Ellen? Uh, no, we won't. We won't bring up Ellen. I I did single ladies for Ellen. We'll I talk about I that. Heard. Yeah. I did, okay. I heard. Well, it was great. All right, we'll go into this uh, episode. Of, uh, <laughs> let's, about get some, me. let's get to the episode very quickly because I have a lot to talk about. Yes, yes. Okay. So start at the beginning. And it All was right. Years ago, this happened. So, yes. years ago. So, uh, the show opens and all the girls and the moms are in the dancer's den. Mm -hmm. And Holly wants to, like, talk to you before you go in. But, you know, there's so much chaos going on. And it's just kind of like... You were not having that chat. Nope. You were no. like, no, I don't have time for that. Yeah. No, because I think... Before that, in mm -hmm. L.A., so much studio time was wasted. Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk to moms in the dance room where the kids need to train mm -hmm. and to rehearse and mm -hmm. to pick up the choreography. If you want to talk to me, make an appointment with the secretary, mm -hmm. and I'll come in early or I'll stay late, and I'll talk to you yeah. without people around in an office with the door closed. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. You do that with any professor or right. boss in yeah. general. Um, and you say that you guys are going to Intensity Dance Competition in New Jersey. Every dance competition is Intensity. No, not yeah. anymore. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, why not anymore? Because last season, it was always Intensity. I know, but the guy that owns Intensity, his wife had twins. Oh. So he's busy. Oh, I bet. So Taking he's, care of he's not just throwing extra competitions in whenever they need them in whatever city. Oh. Hmm. And no more Intensity. Mm. I bye guess bye. I guess it's lost its bye Intensity. Bye. Yes. <laughs> it's not too intense. It's just... It's just yeah. flat line. Um, you guys uh, showed uh, the headshots that you guys took yeah. last week. Yes. They look really good. Thank you. They look very good. Now, just for the record, these are still not headshots that you would walk in to audition for commercial right. or mm -hmm. for you know the kids going to a Broadway show audition. Mm -hmm. They would be a little less makeup, a little less hair, a little less professional, mm -hmm. but. They're on television every week. Yeah. So they have to shine bright mm -hmm. when they're in that pyramid. And they yeah. look great. They're the, the girls look beautiful. You got, you they're guys awesome look headshots. really good Thank in those you. headshots. And I loved the different looks that mm -hmm. you guys had. And that that's very helpful in L.A. when you have different mm -hmm. looks. I only had one. Well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can we just jump back? See, this is what the fans don't get. And this is what the mothers don't even get. Mm -hmm. Like, the mothers are so into the show. Like, the mother's on the show. Mm -hmm. They, like, forget things. I just had her a couple weeks before that in L.A. shooting the cover of her album, our Christmas, out, Christmas release, mm -hmm. the Christmas song, and we took a million photos of her. Mm -hmm. I mean, literally. Yeah. So yeah. I have a headshot that I can go in and grab of her. Right. I didn't need that lady. I was like, one, one, one. And they, I said something about these are the kids that are going to work. They don't show you the beginning of the conversation. Mm -hmm. Those are the kids that I said I didn't need the photos of. Oh. Because I, we already had photos. Kalani has a million photos. Right. All right, of headshots. She gets her pictures done all the time. Yeah. I had pictures of Mackenzie, like I said. Maddie, we were going to do a shoot with her separate. Uh -huh. So Nia's sitting here, Kendall's here, Maddie's here, Kalani. Did I not take you the next day mm -hmm. to yes. on my day off on yes. Monday mm -hmm. to a photo studio the entire day and the shot the day. pictures that you see now? See, uh -huh. and that's and that that is something that even when I watched the episode, I was like, "Oh, I know Abby didn't really say that." And the reason that we were hurt in a hurry mm -hmm. is because they were suddenly using Studio B, and I have a class coming in there at mm -hmm. four thirty, mm -hmm. and it was like four o'clock. Yeah, and they're yeah. like, "Well, too bad. Let those kids wait." No, those are my students. They're yeah. customers. They pay every month. They need to get into class. Because the way it was depicted last week, I wasn't here for the re the reclap last week, but the way they depicted it was that, like, you know, you wanted all this time with, like, Maddie and Mackenzie, and you mm -hmm. kind of left Nia and, and Kendall, Kendall I, to, like, fend for themselves. I took the photo. The ones that were at the studio, I only had literally five minutes because my hair wasn't good, and mm -hmm. I just didn't have the right outfit. So, and it it's better when we rush. have, we were all it was, yeah. yeah, it was just rush. Yeah. yeah. Well, in the end, the but that's the production company. If right. you saw the way they dressed, <laughs> <laughs> and the way their right. hair is, and the way their makeup is, you would understand why they thought we could do it in five right. minutes. Right. Well, they're not on camera. They don't get it. 
Maybe not. Sometimes um, they're on camera by mistake. But that would go back to the editing thing. Okay. <laughs> well, plus, I think it's underestimated how long it takes to get a good headshot. Yeah. We were talking about that last week. It, take, it could take four hours to get one, and that's all that matters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. But in the end, the headshots look great. They, they did look great. They look really good. Um, so the pyramid. Yeah. So on the pyramid. Uh, Kendall was on the bottom, and that was because you cried in the, <laughs> in the dressing room. Kendall was like, I am not having it, and I'm about to leave. Yeah. <laughs> she, Goodbye. She, she almost hit that door, and you were like, don't you walk out of that door. Did I say that? Yeah. I think so. Oh, really? Yeah. You did. Yeah. You said, you said, Kendall, you said, Kendall, you said get back here. Yeah. <laughs> or else you're done. Black. Yeah. You were like, don't touch that door. Oh. oh. Mm -hmm. I myself. And her mother oh, no, took the low road. She took the gutter, her mother. Uh -oh. Instead of taking the high road, mm. the high like what my mom and dad would have done when I did that and I didn't introduce myself and I stood there like a you know raving lunatic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she, my mom or dad would have said, "What is wrong with you? You know <laughs> when you walk into a room that you're supposed to introduce yourself. <laughs> have we raised like this imbecile? No. <laughs> but we've and we've done things like that in class. So they they yeah. all knew to do that. She, what I think." And correct me if I'm wrong. No, don't correct your teacher if I'm wrong. <laughs> she wasn't paying attention very well when Gianna and I were kind of whispering to ourselves as to what we wanted her to do. Uh -huh. Had she been in the moment, like I try to teach them to always be in the moment, uh -huh. she would have heard it. We, we were saying it loud enough for her for to hear. We were giving her the benefit of the doubt, and she was turning and dancing you know she wasn't paying attention but the walk was good though so it was it was confident you had like that beyonce self win she did, mm -hmm. she did. yeah it was and confident then, but then we sat there like this <laughs> <laughs> who are you what's your name yeah nothing no. so so but then again her mother didn't say kendall say your name yeah like you know well, now you know that when then you walk into a room now. then holly jumped in and then melissa jumped in they all jumped in and i'm up yeah, the, I think the crazy person came down the hallway and all us. Uh, that was a lot. Yeah. 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 And then yeah. Several and, 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 and I didn't need to do that. Jill was not paying for me for a private lesson to teach her how to audition. Now was she? Nope. So instead mm -hmm. of saying, thank you, Miss Abby, <laughs> again, I'm the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> Moving well, on with the pyramid. <laughs> yeah. Next was Kalani because you got fourth. Mm. And then Nia, who you said had a great character. Yes. That performance. But... Nia is always in the same spot on the pyramid. I don't know. <laughs> it always happens. And, and every week yeah. I mention this, that anytime the pyramid is revealed, Nia is in the same spot. So she's not on the top, she's not on the bottom. She's and there's usually now, not anything now, wrong Now, either. When, when she shifts is when she's about to do a dance. It's usually like one of the like Rosa Parks like ethnic dances. That's when like she'll shift and then she'll move to the top. But then Good. she goes right back down <laughs> to that same spot <laughs> where she was before. And that's, and that's all I'll say about that. It's, it's not you. And so then was Mackenzie, because you did the suicide jump, and Abby yes. said you loved that. That was so fun. <laughs> oh, in the group. Uh -huh. okay. yeah. yeah, it was awesome. And then Maddie was on top. Of course. Yeah, because you got, but you got beat. And Abby was but like, well, that's okay. But it's okay you need to get beat, beat yeah. sometimes. Yeah. Oh, I remember. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember. Yeah. Every now and then, you know, it's okay no, to no, let no, someone no, no. else but, but she, Well, she wasn't good. We just. I, I, I wasn't her? good? Yeah. No, she, did they show the kid? Oh. No, no, no. no. They never. They, no. We, that's the thing we miss. We that, that, when that you guys yeah. place you like miss, that, we never see it. We miss. We don't see anyone else dance. So when somebody comes out and beats you, you're like, what? Oh, what did wow. they do? What did they do? Who were you know? Who was it? What yeah. did they look like? What did they wear? We have no idea. Now that kid, though, I guess has been to like twenty-seven different dance studios in Michigan, but <laughs> the competition was seventeen hours long or something. Like it was crazy. The competition so, was seventeen hours. It, it was, oh my gosh! It was really long. So what happened was she danced, or. I think we danced early mm -hmm. to get our solos, boom, 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 out of the way to do lunch. You know, it, it's yeah. all the rules we have to follow. Yeah. Yeah. And then that kid danced like 20 minutes before the awards. Oh, so she's so the, a little fresher. No, but the no, the judges had back. turned their scores in for her yeah. hours ago. It wasn't right. Good. How could they remember what they gave know. her? Her, right. Was that was the, there, unless it was a perfect judges. score. Yeah. Right. You know, but then again, wasn't it? Oh, it was intense. Okay. No. Uh, oh. What was the one last yeah. week? It was Intensity? I thought it yeah. was. Yeah, it was the other, the other one. It was no. the other one. Yeah, I think it was the other one. 
Yeah. Yeah, it was. It was energy. Mm-hmm. It was oh, ener- didn't say that. Don't go there. Bad, 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 bad competition. Yes, Don't yes. That's, that's what it was. <laughs> that's what it was. And shady <laughs> things happened there. No. Oh, boy. <laughs> All Moving right. On. I got third. So, I got second, and the other girl got first. I'm not saying there's a There's a group discussion. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> so then we had the, the group assignments. We, uh, oh, the you, group rehearsal was uh, something to believe in. <laughs> yes. And then the solos went to Mackenzie and JoJo. Mm-hmm. Ooh, enter in Miss JoJo that you brought in. Surprise. Now, I thought... I didn't bring JoJo in. The producers made me have her. Well, but... <laughs> we like her. She's fun, but... The way... That's not... I would have had somebody with amazing feet and beautiful legs. <laughs> Somebody that was eight that was gonna pull the age down. Come on. Now the way the way that it was being set up on the show, we all thought that Nia was about to get the solo. Yeah. And Did you inch up? I on think the it camera? like went to Nia on camera. It did because it went to Nia, it went to Holly, and Holly looked very excited, like you're about to announce Nia, and then you're like, we have a guest, and then you went to the door, and you're like, hello, and in walks Miss Jojo and her bow. So you think there's there's a Emmy in there for me? An Emmy Award for the acting, absolutely, yeah. 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 Oh, I feel like any time that, any time that I know that I'm not gonna get a solo, she looks at me. (laughs) (laughs) That was like the sign, like, I'm sorry, sweetie, not this week. (laughs) (laughs) Gonna get her. When I, I'm like mean when I do that, but then when we have. I don't, I don't want to say, they reshoot my hand pulling off the the, the card. The card. Yeah. Yes. Right after the pyramid. As uh-huh. soon as we break and we say, okay, girls, practice, they have to, I have to go back up, they put them back up, and I pull them again. Yeah. And when I pull them again, I am so mean. <laughs> she they, never use, they never use it. They just use my hand, but I have yeah. to redo it. So I, it's like payback for whatever their mother said. Do I to the pyramid? Take it out on the kids. Yes, of course. <laughs> Um, and the moms funny. are not in the room. Right, they're not in the room. Whatever she oh, wants. So oh that's, my gosh. Oh, no wonder you're really mean when the moms are not in the room. <laughs> the second time, they're not. Today you were good, though. You didn't. Uh, we were in a Today hurry. was a good day. We had an hour. Today was a good day. Today was a really <laughs> good day. <laughs> she, she was like the life of the party. <laughs> Abby was awesome today. Except I was a little. I was a little mad at her. <laughs> Best behavior. <laughs> Oh, look at that. What happened? I don't know. Well, she, you can't, I did, you can't get yeah, what happened? I did yeah, I a perfect fan kick, and she goes, oh, Kalani. And I was like, <laughs> You called Maddie call, Kalani? No, 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 no. no. Kalani is next to her doing oh. the fan kick. And I thought she was going to say my name, but she's like, Kalani. But I, no, wait, wait. Let me <laughs> say this. I watched Maddie learn it first uh-huh. and do the fan kick. Wrong. Uh-huh. Over, like, four times, maybe. Four, yeah. Three, four times. You know, it was alright. It was alright. Right. I, I said, "Turn your hip out, do this." Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I gave her correction. Yeah. And then we had Kalani join her in it. Uh huh. And then so then Kalani did it. Legs. And I just yeah. went, oh. But by that fourth time, Maddie had fixed all the mistakes and was trying to like sustain it forever, and it was gorgeous. And, and then Maddie stopped dancing because Abby was like, "Maddie," <laughs> and then Maddie was like, "Really?" She looked at Gianna and went. <laughs> and then Gia goes, I saw it. It's okay. Yeah, like she tells. Oh, I, 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 I feel it. I, I understand when they're when I've done something real good and no one notices. I get that like what? I mean, you didn't I see totally it. agree you didn't with that. Yeah, like whenever you do like five yeah, turns in turning class and you do them and then, and then, then nobody's like, watching and it's like and then they watch and you you're like, wait, I can do it again. Uh huh. All right, so um, so Mackenzie is practicing her uh, solo, and Abby, you make her, you make JoJo give her her bow mm-hmm. to give the like. I in- was so mad. I was like, I don't need, I don't need a bow. Suck. What? Did she cry? No. No, I'm, McKen- I'm actually tough cry. this season. Mackenzie had a face like. Do yeah. I really need her bow? Do I bow? really need her bow? Yeah. But yeah. it doesn't No, and then that, and I was like, it doesn't inspire me. I don't have to wear it. But and she was I, like, oh. It inspires me. What I found interesting was that little Miss JoJo came in and immediately asked if she could replace Chloe. That was gutsy. That was very gutsy. Yeah. That was Wait, kind of impressive. At actually. first I was like, who? Matt's <laughs> like, who she's are like, you? She's like, am I your new blonde? I was like, <laughs> I was like, Whoa. Are you blonde? That was first. Are you blonde, Jojo? <laughs> Hi, I'm Maddie. Nice to meet you. Hi, you're really blonde. Now, I, d- I just did that. I did want to give a little shout out to to Jill. 
Because Jill looked great and on camera she, this she's week. A beautiful woman. Yeah, she looked she like does. her hair color oh, looked really good. Props yeah. for Jill. Yeah. Go to that. Props for Jill. Like hair color looked really good. The hairstyle was great. The she had a nice little top. The she looked really good. She fixes her lips every five minutes. She, and she brushes her teeth like, three times a day. That's, yeah. all, that's, all, that's okay. That's okay, Mackenzie. No, I, no, that's, I'm not. It's okay to wash your hair every day too. Oh. <laughs> Shower. You'll, hey, you should feel my hair right now. It's so silky. You'll, you'll learn yeah, that as you grow up. It's so <laughs> nice. So with the with the introduction of Joe. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so with the introduction of a new kid, we also have a new mom. I, you know what? You know what? I don't. You, I can't you, they fly uh, by themselves. You know, What's wrong with the airlines? They keep changing the age. <laughs> you know what I find so interesting is that when a new mom comes in, they immediately feel so entitled. Like as soon as yeah. they come in, and then there's because the. the <laughs> <laughs> I was because a bunch of producers tell them for six months have tell them tried to brainwash them that you're never going to last on the show if you don't go in there fighting and you have to stand up to Abby and you have to stand up to those other moms and, ah! and they hear this day in and day out so they come in and they're like oh I'm ready to go and we're like who are you but you yeah. know what I don't think we Kira was, was that it was I don't like, think she like spoke up that much. Who? Kira. Because she doesn't care. She doesn't want to be there. <laughs> she does not want to. Kira does not. She's my friend. Kira's my friend. She does not want to be on Dance Moms. No. <laughs> she just wants Kalani to be on TV. And Kalani and I hit it off really well. And yeah. we're great. And she thinks that I'm good for her. Mm -hmm. yeah. And she comes from a great school and has great teachers and all that. And we're friends and colleagues, you know, the, the both studios. So it works. Yeah. But personally, she would much rather be somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> I, else. Knew that too. I knew that too. She wants to be with Yes. Oh, a boyfriend. Ooh, but that was the first thing I noticed was yeah, that yeah. Kira came in and was just very like mellow and she, went with the flow. It's just kind of like, okay, Kalani, go yeah. ahead. <laughs> I'm here. What yeah. do I need to say? Because I said, you know, the last time she was choosing her life mm -hmm. over Kalani's, Kalani's life. Kalani's dance life, right. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, people watch the show, so they think they're on it, but really they like, they're just so into it. And then when they actually like come in, they're even like worse in person. Oh, boy. <laughs> um, now, you did say that you wanted uh, Mackenzie to look and act more like JoJo, mm -hmm. which I think you were wanting her to be as sassy and as like I just think character like, right. like and JoJo I, is. I think that in dealing with Mackenzie and working with her on her videos, mm -hmm. on the Christmas video that I produced, and along with my lovely partner, Angie Logan, mm -hmm. that she is probably going to end up on television. The camera <laughs> likes her face. Mm -hmm. So somebody that's on stage that's exaggerated and bigger than life and all of that, that's not Mackenzie. Mm -hmm. And I have tried and tried and tried to pull that out of her. Mm -hmm. So when she goes to perform live and sing, it's... Coming along, it's getting better, mm -hmm. but she really knows how to play it with the camera. Yeah. Yeah. The, but the you Christmas know, video, like all the faces and the, I mean, it's great. But her going up against JoJo, I mean, I wrote in like all caps during your performance that it was the most energetic and I thought it was oh, the, the best the performance. Improv? Thank you. No, when Mackenzie actually competed. Oh, yeah. Her solo. What routine yeah. was that? Boom boom. Boom boom. Boom, boom. Yeah. Oh, boom, boom. That's I loved that dance. It was, really it was cute. So you were sassy. Yeah. yeah. I did not like that music though. Wow. Oh. <laughs> we we we've had discussions about your your music you didn't like library. That music? We don't like any of the music. <laughs> but yeah, I was like, oh, that poor music. But yeah. Um, what was funny is getting into the recording industry. With, uh, Kendall is now one of my clients as mm. far as producing her album and producing her video. Uh -oh. That's awesome. Uh -oh. it's very, she has a new single coming out called Wear Em Out. Uh -huh. Ooh. But Where who out? When's it come out? Wear Em Out. Like, Wear Em Out. All of them. All the guys. Wear Em Out. Okay. So You be careful with that song. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, you don't need to know no, nothing wait, wait. about wearing anybody out oh, no, right don't, now. Don't go there. It's just really, it's really cute. It's really Tony. good. It's really good. But here's the deal. Here's the deal. I feel like we have to produce our own music so we'll have something better to use. Oh. <laughs> People keep saying, why are they singing? Why are they all singing? Why is Abby doing this? I'm like thinking, so we have better 
music to dance to. Dance to. to. <laughs> and because I like to sing, that's why I did it. That's right. <laughs> well, there was, a little pay, there was a little payback there. Uh, but, uh, yeah, well, a little challenge there. Oh, yeah. yeah we, we, we know all about that challenge. We won. We're still hurting. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, so during JoJo's rehearsal, Abby, you're, you noticed that she can't do the lyrical routine. And Bless so, your heart. You tried, though. You did. I mean, yeah, you tried. You tried. Bless your heart. Lyrical, I know, isn't my strongest style. And you mentioned that. And, on like, what Kenzie Solo was, that's what style I do. Yeah. And so, doing that lyrical piece and just getting thrown into, like, pretty princess, one heart. Like, you were like, I need more I'm than two days yeah. to figure this out. <laughs> So then, uh, with JoJo that. doesn't listen to the music. That's the <laughs> number one problem. <laughs> she doesn't, and I don't think her studio is big on that. And she's not a big tapper. Yeah. And you learn to count the music. Mm-hmm. You learn your rhythm and timing in tap class. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. where it comes from. Yeah. Yeah. Um, great. Um, and so then, Abby, you're like, you know what? I'm going to pick a music that fits your style, and we're going to pull someone else in. And you go out and bring in Sarah. Mm-hmm. And Christy. Again. Yeah. Again. Well, wow. Again. I, and they all come with a mother. I had a moment where I was like, yay for Sarah, but ooh, Christy. Ooh. No, it's I just think like, she learned her lesson. It's I just like have... the kids are like, eh, and then the mom comes in and you're like, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, ha- I don't have my phone here, but last night, I guess as soon as the show aired in uh-huh. Pittsburgh, I got a lovely text message from the mom and dad. Beautiful. From Christy? Yes, and her husband. Oh, okay. They're, they're actually me, very, they're very thanking me very. for how much I've done for their daughter and giving her that opportunity and just Aww. developing her as a dancer and Good. just so much. Yes. Good. Very they're, nice. They're very nice. Sweet family. Because had she came in like she did last season, I would have officially yeah. had to give her the have several seats award because she needs to have But she did a good seat. job. She a stayed she stayed she in stayed track calm. and she, she stayed learned. cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well see, when the kid's not on the show and she's in the other classes She's not getting my tutelage. Like, I'm not on her. Mm-hmm. Yes? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So she realized the kid's going to improve with me on her like that, yeah. on her back constantly. And that's what was missing. So when she was off the show, I was like, uh-oh, wait a minute. We yeah. just screwed this up. Mm-hmm. So you'd think their mothers would learn the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So then. <laughs> <laughs> but Sarah's turned into a beautiful dancer. She is. I think she, she, has. Will be. Yeah. she will be. She has. Um, so then all the girls are in the dancer's den. I love the conversations that they're starting the show with you yeah. guys. We're um, starting to talk more. Yeah, I, yeah it's yeah. great. I like that because I feel like we miss yeah. those moments. And there's so much drama with the moms, yeah. between you and the moms, and everything that's outside of the moms and all that kind of stuff. We miss those moments where you guys are just sitting and being girls and chatting. And I, I like I like the conversation. And the moms to tell us what's right or wrong. Yeah. We have we new, a new app coming out that we just worked on and that's what it is okay. it's those scenes it's the girls doing the hair and the makeup without the mothers the in the room and the cameras and all that stuff yeah and that's the best part of the show it yeah, is it really there's is. some dance lessons real technical dance classes but then there's other fun silly stuff and that's mm-hmm. what the kids want to see that watch the show yeah, yeah. And you guys were talking about tap and Mackenzie, Mackenzie's tap. loving tap. Mm-hmm. And I'm in a small group. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> That's a big deal, because everyone's in the line or the large yeah. group, and then the large few class. good, really great tappers get picked out to be in the small group. It's like oh, all good. of my best friends and then Maddie. In the <laughs> <laughs> all of your best friends and Maddie. And yeah. Maddie, and then our, this other girl. That's <laughs> oh, nice. Awesome. So then we go, let's go into the group uh, rehearsal. No, we go into Sarah's rehearsal. Oh, Sarah's rehearsal. Yeah. Okay, move along. She's not here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so in the group rehearsal, the parents are concerned with mocking religion. So what What was your, what did you think when you... When the producer said you're going to do a routine about religion? Yeah. Just, was there concern? Let's just make but, one thing clear. But I always All feel like All the great numbers that we really like, I did 15 years ago, 10 years ago, 5 years ago before we were on a television show. Mm-hmm. Where have all the children gone? And, and the, the Amber Alert, I, I did that. I did all those before. Mm-hmm. And those are the ones that are important to me and that mean something. Mm-hmm. Some of the stuff that they come up with is absurd. <laughs> and I will not do it, <laughs> which we're not going to talk about. If they wanted me to do something for the first episode back this season, uh-huh. I walked out of the production company's building here in L.A., uh-huh. got in my car and drove to Lifetime in Century City and walked in and demanded to see 
like the person in charge of the head programming. Honcho? The head honcho. I would love to be the secretary at Lifetime to see <laughs> you I walk yeah. past. I walked past like 25 desks and <laughs> I said, and I went right in there and said, we are not doing that. <laughs> You know? To be a fly on the wall. I know, that but I learned great. how to play it. Don't even. I didn't even waste my breath. At yeah. Price. <laughs> You're like, you know what? Let me just go over here. Yeah. Go to the I'm big dogs. Get in my car. There you go. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Through LA traffic, which is a commitment. Yes. And the fact yes. that you stayed mad that entire time. <laughs> You were fuming. I rehearsed in my head yeah. what I was going to say. See, Emmy nominated actress <laughs> there right you here. Go. I love that. Um, Maybe but, you'll be in a movie sometime. <laughs> I feel like there was a lot of pressure on Nia with the group dance mm-hmm. because Maddie was uh, doing the benefit show with Sia and here in LA, and and she had to do, which you did a great job with. Um, Talking. My yes, Angela. the My Angelou one, yeah. um, which I also saw at the booty camp. That was the first time I saw it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but I felt like there was a lot of pressure on you because you were the lead feature dancer, which it's usually Maddie. And so it's kind of like that feeling of if the group loses, it's your fault. Well, it is usually the quarterback's fault. Oh. Well, Nia, you did a beautiful job. Thank you. Did. you. You guys all did. It was a great yes. performance. And there yes. wasn't any religious undertone that we didn't like a certain religion or we didn't believe in a certain yeah. religion. It was just all the religions were represented, or yeah. as many as we could. Right, yeah. right. exactly. Um, and then Maddie's rehearsal in L.A. out here for the Hollywood Bowl Benefit concert. I love that you talk to Maddie like like she's like an, another adult. Mm-hmm. Y'all were just having a conversation. I usually talk to all the kids that way. That's why I yell at them because I, <laughs> but they're children. I, I know, but in my head, they're not. They're dancers. Yeah. But like it was like that whole phone conversation that you guys had, it was just like it was like a hey, what's up? What's going on there? Oh yeah, well you know Kalani, she's doing this wrong. I Jojo's feet are sickled, yeah. and like mm-hmm. you just went down the line. Be behind. Yeah. Oh, be behind. Be behind. That's what it was. That's yes. Really good. Yes. Be so behind. and you just went down, and you and everyone's standing there like, oh, okay, <laughs> all right. Well, good luck, Maddie. Bye. <laughs> 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 they tried to shoot Maddie backstage at the Hollywood Bowl, the production company, and they blew that in about two minutes on the phone. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Maddie, were you nervous? Like, what were you thinking right before you went on stage? It was such, it, it was the biggest crowd I've ever performed at. And yeah. it's always sad to leave the girls because, you know, I'm a part of their team and I don't want to let them down and I always support them. But. It was such an amazing experience, and getting to perform at the Hollywood Bowl at age 12. I'm not even a teenager yet, so. <laughs> yeah. Who was in the dress? Who was backstage too? That you got to see. Uh, was it Beyonce? No. If it, was, be- Beyonce, if it was Beyonce, I would have been like, "You better get a picture for me." Yeah, <laughs> no, I would have been back there like, "Hey, Maddie, how you doing?" I, during I saw backstage, I had a little chat with J Lo. Oh. And then. During dress rehearsal, I met Alicia Keys, and oh my gosh, I was. No, tell her what Sia said. Oh, Sia was like, "Hey, you want to come meet my friend?" And I was like, "Sure." Uh, and we were walking, and when we went to like you know get to where we were to see her, uh-huh. I was like, "Oh, what's your friend's name?" She's like, "Oh, Alicia Keys." I was like, "Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. oh okay, yeah. okay." See, it's not like when I introduce people to my friends, it's like, "Oh, it's Lexi." Or Mark or Mark, Mark you know. Yeah. <laughs> but she's like, "Oh, this is like, Alicia Keys." Like, yeah. Yeah. Beyonce. Oh uh, I'm waiting for that day. If you ever meet Beyonce. Well, I hope Beyonce I is going to bring her little you girl. Did? Yeah. Yeah. Where'd you meet her? her? At the Annie premiere? <laughs> Come <laughs> on. Blue Ivy. She blue met, Ivy. I met her. This one, she met Beyonce because at the after. Annie premiere, Mackenzie and I went and mm-hmm. walked the carpet. It was great. And mm-hmm. Will Smith was fabulous to me. Mm-hmm. Anyway, he, 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 he was blowing me kisses and he was just, it was very nice. Mm-hmm. Anyway, she went to the after party. Uh-huh. I had to go, Melissa and I, had to go with somewhere else. Kendall and Maddie were hosting this event. It it was a fundraiser of some type, and it was all these young Broadway kids that sing and dance, and they're in Broadway shows and everything, Uh and it was a benefit, and they were the... MCs for the night. It was hilarious. Oh, wow. oh my gosh. Tony Danza was there. Like uh-huh. he danced and they had to introduce him. It was great. It was great. Nice. So, so, but I would have rather been with Beyonce at the party. Just well, saying. yeah. I mean, duh. Well, of course. I, I really wanted to like hug her or something. So I was like, I like your dress. Well, you should have been at the benefit to hear all the little Broadway kids sing live. We should have been at the party. Yeah. I agree. And Next I time, been I'm there not too. making that mistake. <laughs> 
Okay. Right. So, so right into the competition. Yeah. So we go into the competition and um, Sarah's performance was really good. Yeah. And I put that she, from back, she looked like Maddie. Big features. She has big features. Big smile. Yeah. Guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like like the bun that you would normally have and you're like, Costume. From the far costume. back costume. costume. I was like, ooh, she does look like a little Maddie. Well, if I could make a couple hundred Maddies, I would do it. I know you would. I know uh, you would. You know, unfortunately, if I could do that, Maddie probably wouldn't have been a Maddie. She would have been a Katie. Mm-hmm. And an Al's <laughs> and an Allie and a Corey and all those people. <laughs> the ones before. Yes. Um, and JoJo, your performance was so good. Yeah. Electricity. Yeah. I thought it was very it was very powerful, very mm-hmm. strong. You you know how to like embody a character. Yeah. So and I thought that was really good. You were really into it too. Thank you. And I yeah. pretended not to be there. Is this the one where I didn't watch? You walk yeah, in you, late. Where you came I, I didn't at, walk in late. I was McKenzie. in the back. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, they were no, they really got you on didn't you. Know that? I know you. I was there in the theater. I was like six feet behind you. Yeah. Behind your moms. Oh, that's awkward. Yeah, because they... (laughs) They wanted to make it seem like I didn't care about you and I didn't care about... Who else danced? Uh, Sarah. 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 Sarah, But I just got there for McKenzie. Just in time for McKenzie. Right. They held me. You know how they hold you. Yeah, we do the dances twice. And I know that you would do the second time. Right. But I was really there the first time. Oh, that's such a tender hey, moment. She Aww. loves us. But it was really stressful, okay. too, because like, mm-hmm. and like, I really wanted to go out there and dance for you. She watches me the whole time she's on yeah. stage. The, sh- <laughs> she says, Here's, the three judges are here, uh-huh. and, and I'm here, and she's like this. I'm trying to play you. Well, like, but you, I want to well, I know, but I'm not, I don't understand have a that. pen yeah. and paper in my hands. But you go to, you go to like your comfort know. level. Yeah. Like whenever you're dancing and you, you like spot your mom or your dad in the crowd, like no matter what you do, mm-hmm. your parents are always going to love what you do. So you go to them and you play to them, but you forget to. Like, I feel like if I was hosting in front of Juliana Rancic, I would be staring at her the entire time. Yes. You know, yes. like. But when I went on stage, I didn't know you were there because they were like, Abby's not here. So I went on stage and I did my thing to the back and I faced the front and I saw you and I was like, oh no. Like, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. Well, every day with the kid every day of her life and she's just, oh, oh no. no. <laughs> I have a right to be nervous, not you. Well, well speaking you, of, she, she wasn't trying to him talk. Your, uh, <laughs> your solo, uh, Mackenzie, I put, well, I already said I didn't like the song, but um, but you always do so well with your acro and you're yeah. like, I, I can't do that. I am six foot two. I can't get anything <laughs> no. over my head. I can't do a cartwheel. Don't look at me like you that. Can't Don't do judge. A cartwheel? No. Really? Really? Even when you were a, well, maybe not now. Did you do one as a child? When I was a child, I was a short, chubby c- child. <laughs> so no, I didn't can even attempt to do that. You had, no. You didn't have that far to fall. No. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I would have cracked something, either the ground or myself. I, I, I didn't want to do that. that. Okay. Um, I did. I did think that Mackenzie needed a little more sass, though. Just a little bit in that solo. I'm sure she did. Just a tish. Just mm-hmm. a little a little more Sasha Fierce. Do you, you know how many weeks ago that was that that was filmed? And today, I had to say it to her again. Yes? Little, and I, I even will, mentioned three people's names, which I'm not mentioning. And I said, well, you need a little more bump, bump, bump to do this number. Well, you know what? Anytime you need a sass lesson, you let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, but he's sassier but, than you are. But yeah. he's very sassy. Ooh. Yeah, oh, we can we can have a sass off okay. if you want. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm, I'm sassy now. whenever I need to be sassy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you are. But you <laughs> learned you learned it from Shandra. Yeah, but she's sassy and you do it respectfully. Like yeah, yeah. Can yeah. you do the eyebrow? Which eyebrow? No, I can't do that. I can do both. I mean, but uh, but no. Oh. But there's Sorry. a there's a lot of other things that I can do. You can do both. Mm-hmm. Like what? Well, that says a lot. Oh. Yeah. When you get one of those in a look. They're gonna be doing that all. Do it. Not that hard. Yeah. Oh, I did it. Yeah, you did it. Yeah. Anytime you wanna <laughs> anytime you wanna end or begin a conversation, it's very like that. I yeah. do that all the time. See? That's what Beyonce does. Uh-huh. Yep. Oh, okay. she does? Oh, That's did you get a... that from her? Is it Beyonce or you did. you did. You <laughs> did. The... You did. That is not a Tony original. You made that up. That's a sass uh uh lesson for today. Okay. You guys are All welcome. Right. Um, Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Um, so on to the group dance, which I loved. My yeah, I thought it was great. It's okay. Um, I, 
Nia looked very. You look very powerful in the. Thank you. In the, like you came out and it's just very like. Mm -hmm. walk. My yeah. throat hurt after yeah. that performance. Uh, we we really worked on the walk a long time. Yeah. I was like, go back. Start yeah. again. Go back. Yeah, it was very graceful. Thank no, you. it was. Um, I thought it was great, and I thought your co you guys' costumes look really good My for that number. Is the best. A toilet paper roll. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm, I'm giving a shout out to uh, Diana, D D D, the Kaz, because she is my hair makeup artist, but. She has kind of taken over the She the makes costume all of our thing. costumes. She, she, no, she, They're she amazing. She really doesn't. She just gets so fed up with it, you know, that we have a TV show that's on season five and we don't have a seamstress yet uh -huh. or anyone to be in charge of the costumes. Like, I took it over in season two because they were trying to hide them and stop the shipping of them, uh, you know, all that stuff. So, I, well, so now, now she's taken over because I'm just too busy doing all these other clothing lines and we have a children's clothing line, an upscale... Real clothes for kids, mm -hmm. not just. What's it called? We're still. We're still. No, it, it's decided. It's, I believe it's Couture Four. Couture it's, Four. It's uh, two amazing young girls uh, from LA, from here, that have a fashion style blog. I'm gonna shout them out, uh, Alex and Ella. Follow them, please, please, please. And then uh, Maddie McKenzie. And I'm involved, and a uh, stylist, Linda Medvin's involved. Maddie. And then Plus I also have a regular woman's clothing line Good. coming out. And then we have it's not dancewear. We have the Avilia Apparel that's mm -hmm. gone insane. It's crazy now, mm -hmm. all the stuff that we have. And that that's it on the, the, the clothes and the costumes. Now, and, oh, 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 well, Capizio. It's a little hush-hush. Oh, yeah, but there's a little now thing the women, happening there. The women's line, you have more colors than black, right? We have black, navy blue, a really rich navy blue, mm -hmm. a plum purple color, and a beautiful emerald green. Oh, good, because remember you for got... the first set. Remember you got upset with me when I mentioned that you always wear black. I always wear black, too. I don't blame you. I love it. I work for Johnny Cash. I mean, <laughs> granted, I always wear black, too, but I don't have a choice. <laughs> so God dipped you in chocolate though. Yeah, he did, and it's the finest of chocolates, I promise. <laughs> All right, so um, with the the end results, we had uh, Sarah in first place, uh, JoJo came in third, Mackenzie came in first place, and the group came in second. Oh. Mm -hmm. And we all know how you hate to be second. First to lose. Sorry. It's first to lose. If only two people showed up, and then we lost. I I didn't think it was right that JoJo's mom brought up the two point difference between her and Sarah. I agree. Yeah. Did Sarah beat you? Against me? No, I beat. Can I say something really quick? Yeah. They didn't show before the whole week before, like upstairs when. The moms are like on the little stairs talking. Mm -hmm. they didn't they're called bleachers. <laughs> I don't know what they're called in Nebraska, but they're called bleachers, <laughs> bleachers everywhere. Like Every, everywhere else in the world, they're called bleachers. Go ahead. <laughs> but when they were up there, Sarah's mom, Christy, was like, My daughter is a way better, tech, more technical dancer than you. Mm -hmm. And like, she's going to beat JoJo, and she's more technical, and she has way more technique, like the whole week. And then. So it really just looked like my mom just brought that up because yeah. she, did, she uh -huh. just wanted to point out that I beat Sarah. Yeah. But what hap What really happened was she was just telling Christ, Christy, Christy, whatever. Christy. Christy, that's what we did. Yeah, call. I had a moment where I was just like, uh, uh, we don't need to know that. Yeah. Awards are over. Right. Even in my non-television life, mm -hmm. the scores are scores. We do get a packet. They give you all the score sheets from the competitions, mm -hmm. but they're numbers on a piece of paper. Unless you have every number from the entire day, mm -hmm. you don't really know what's happening. And I judge a lot. I judged all over the country before a television show. And I was always the high judge because I would be like, well, I know everybody here. I'm friends with these teachers. I'm, I come back to this area often. I'm going to be the high judge. Mm -hmm. Just across the board, I'm going to be the high judge. So the lowest score I'm going to give out is like a 90. The highest score is 100. So a kid gets a 92 and they're like, oh, she really liked me because the other people were giving their 80s. I didn't. That was my lowest score. But the yeah. kid doesn't realize that by looking at the paper. Yeah. Yeah. So, so math. 
We um we only have a, a few more minutes, and I just want to talk to to you guys to about it. I do want to mention. I I feel like this season, Holly Nia's mom, mm-hmm. she's a she's getting a little little firecracker. I, I was gonna say, yeah. Like I like I feel I like I feel like we know Holly as a very like level proper level, yeah. but yeah, I feel I like know. Holly has another side to her, and I'm gonna name her like Holisha, <laughs> and like she is like Hot to Holly. She's, like, coming out. <laughs> Holly Qua. Holiqua, I like that better. Holiqua is about to come out in like a couple of episodes. (laughs) Holiqua is gonna come out. Oh shit! Yeah, she did. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's what she said. She's from the Bronx. She's oh yeah. She's when got she, that fighting power. When she yeah. said, when she said, I'm from the Bronx. Like, I was like, she was basically saying, boo, I'm from the Bronx. I can't. She, I can't she, she took that that uh, doctorate degree from the University of Penn and just ripped it up and threw it out. And she said, said Haliqua. I'm ready to fight. She said, look, let me tell you something. Let me introduce you to Haliqua. Okay, <laughs> she can set you straight. She just did a little pirouette yeah. around and was like, woo. <laughs> so yeah. I think they're showing a lot of her this season because. Uh, I think the, it's just there's nobody else tall left, so. <laughs> but, oh. it's, it's just. I'm on here. I feel like <laughs> maybe this is kind of like the breakthrough season for me, maybe because yeah. it's because I feel like I haven't been on the show that I've been on the show for the beginning, the beginning since the beginning, and yeah. I feel like yeah. I haven't. You haven't had your moment. I haven't had well, my moment. You know, yet. Nia when she was a little one, mm. she she just she was. A joy to teach in class. Mm-hmm. Like she made you want to be a better teacher because mm-hmm. she just hung on your every word and she was just like, <sighs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> she she was she like was, a little firecracker. Like she, I would stand in the back of the room and just like watch her. She, <laughs> I would be this little thing and I was like, <laughs> yeah. She was at a dance convention with 800 kids on the floor and she was winning she, scholarships and we're like, she doesn't know her right from her from like, oh, <laughs> But because she was like this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the bun was out and it was yeah. crazy. Too much. The, Too much. Yeah, it, it was. Yeah. But she was. You, you got. You guys work really, really hard, and I know Thank that you. like doing the show you. can be like very stressful. stressful. Um, what do you guys really quick? What do you guys like about doing the show? Like, do you guys have moments that you enjoy? Do you like what comes with being on the show? Go being in Kalani. L.A. Kalani. We'll start with Kalani. Go ahead, Kalani. Something great about the show is getting to travel to the many places that we do get to travel. So mm-hmm. being able to come to L.A. for three weeks is incredible. So. Yeah. Nia? I would say the best benefit of the show would be getting to travel everywhere. And also, if we didn't do the show, I wouldn't have an app. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. You mentioned Yeah, I have, I have Nia's Nation. Right. Yes. And that's on the app store. And I wouldn't have a website, probably. Yeah. <laughs> and I have that. And... I wouldn't even be, be going to like the teen or the kids choice awards. So yeah. all that, just all that's that stuff. Yeah. Are, that's what we do it. Yeah. It's all the perks. It's all the fun stuff. <laughs> well, can well, can I do it so wouldn't I can get million, the perks too? What? A million well, followers on stars. Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> We're, go ahead. I want what you to go you, quickly because I want to ask them something. I think the opportunities that we have, like having the albums, getting mm-hmm. to travel with Abby, mm-hmm. Abby, going all around <laughs> the world. And also having like this huge fan base. Yeah. Name some of the places you've been. Australia, Paris, Scotland. That's yeah, you guys the, yeah. went on like a whirlwind. We tour went to this Europe summer. and Australia. And they're yeah. they're World still tour. going, and we'll talk about that in right. a little bit. And Maddie, we know all the stuff that. See a video. Yeah. The best part is definitely all the opportunities and everything they said. But yeah. I love dancing. That's my favorite part about everything. Good. What about you, Kenzie? Like Kendall said about like the fan base and all of that, and I wouldn't even have an album, and we wouldn't have all these fans yeah. if we didn't. We wouldn't, and then, we wouldn't yeah. have a thousand. <laughs> exactly. We wouldn't have a bunch of fan pages like we do on Instagram, and a lot of followers that we. <laughs> I know we wouldn't have a million followers. Yeah, there's over a million people that follow their. Every will you day. Will you guys get some of your followers to follow me? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. If we post a picture with you, then you'll have like twelve year old girls following me. Yeah. So, <laughs> so then you have to be careful what you. Put I on know. It. I do. Okay. But when you when I interviewed you for my my web show and you tweeted. It out, I think a bunch of 12, 14 year old girls are now on my Instagram. Now I feel like I have to be very careful. You do. You do. And, yeah. And I'm a little worried. As a person in the public eye, yeah. you need to know that. That's true. Yeah. Now, we won't leave you out, JoJo. I know we were first introduced to you on Abby's Ultimate uh, Dance Competition Season 2. Um, what, and now you're on Dance Moms. Like, what is the great thing about being on the show for you? Well, I'm the last one to say something, so it's like, Basically what all of them said, the traveling's crazy, being able to work with Abby and all these girls, 
Me and Maddie's been in Sia videos, Kendall has her song coming out, Kalani's been in Bunheads and on Shake It Up and just a whole bunch of stuff and Nia has an app and a website and all. Kenzie has an album. <laughs> <laughs> Dancing is part of the group. Yeah. Right. So that means you better hold your own, kid. That's but, right. And it's fun to be like looking with all them. Yeah. And, like, Thanks, Joe. Thanks. I love Aww. dancing with all you guys. That's one of the best parts. Like the fan base is crazy. Like when I before even Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition, I had 291 followers. <laughs> and exactly. Like, yeah, so many. Yeah. 291,000. Exactly. So it's like, I don't have as much as them, but but, but you're me. getting there. Yeah. yeah like yeah. when we started. Yeah. Instagram, we had like 10 followers. I got to I a just million. Got two followers. And oh, then you did. Instagram, like, a month later, decides, oh, we're going to clean up all the fake oh. accounts. Oh, yeah. And I, back right. and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I, and oh, we, deals. she made us tag her in everything, so she would yeah. get no, to a million. No, so then, my, no. so my, you didn't tag me today. So, I told yeah. you guys to tag me in all my photos whenever I didn't have a million, and I was the only girl that didn't have a million, and none of you guys posted well, if you weren't in the picture. So, 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 I didn't. are traveling to Ireland Yes. Uh, in February, yes. and then in March we are headed back to Australia. Yes. Not just for a master class, not just for a showcase, but uh, Abby Lee Miller will be hosting Abby's Ultimate Australian Dance Ooh. Competition. Oh, yes. look at that. That's something to look forward to. Yes, That'll and I be might fun. be looking for an MC, Tony. Well, if you ever need an MC, I believe I'm available. Let me check my schedule. <laughs> yep. <available. laughs> well, thank you guys so you much. You think I'm going to let you off after me? Oh, of course. Really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. <laughs> um, Bye, Felicia. Bye. Bye. Um, Bye. But, yeah, but thank you guys so much for being on. Thanks um, for being here, guys. Really quick, uh, social media shout yeah, out. Yeah, thank you for having uh, us. No problem. Thank you guys for coming on. Real quick, go down really quick. Where can they find you on social media? Kalani. My Instagram is Nia underscore Sue5, and my Twitter is Real Nia Sue. Okay. My Instagram is KK22XO, and my Twitter is KK underscore My Twitter is Maddie Ziegler, and my Instagram is Madison Ziegler1313. My Instagram is official Maxi Music, and my Twitter is Maxi Music INC. <laughs> <laughs> My Instagram is Jojo Fierce Siwa too, and it's T O O because I was in a hurry that night, so don't judge me. Okay. And my Twitter is Jojo Siwa one two three. And we yeah. have no backup. On Instagram, no backup. No backup. No, backup. Yeah, no, backup. no, no private. No pri nothing. No else. Nothing, nothing else. else. Okay. And I, my Instagram is at the real Abby Lee, mm. and my Twitter is Abby underscore Lee underscore Miller. I hate the underscore. I didn't do it. Somebody else set it up. <laughs> To all the fans who give me grief about why I only post, post Maddie McKenzie, is because Maddie McKenzie and I, we all have the same social media expert. Ah. That's why. So when they post something on my site, they do it on theirs too. Okay. That's well, it. That makes sense. No, that makes sense. Yeah. See? There's a reason for everything. <laughs> <laughs> and Lexi, where can they find you? You can find me on all social media at Lexi Hermesfire. And of course, you guys can find me on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, <laughs> and my website, all at Lounging with Tony or loungingwithtony.com. Again, thank you guys so much Thanks, for guys. joining us. Yes, thank you so much. And we had so much guys, fun. Thank you. And I wish you guys like the best of luck. You guys are all so talented, and I'm pretty you sure are. that you guys are going to go very far. And you're so thank polite, you. yes, which goes so far. Well, right now, yeah. far, we're in 110 countries. Yes, there we go. Look at that. Are you in Australia? Yeah. yeah. Maybe. And we might want to go to, we're trying to go to Dubai. Ooh. So if anyone is watching in Dubai, yes. hook them up. Let's go. Yes. Hook them up. <laughs> From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later! The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal.